So how does this work? Why does, it, why does it work? If lemon juice is quite acid and it's got a pH of somewhere in the range of two to three, why is it possible to alkalinize your urine if you're taking in something that's acid? Here's the answer. The acid is citric acid. And that means that it has citrate and a proton, an H plus. That's the, the, the working part of the, pro, of the uh, acid. The citrate gets turned by the liver into bicarbonate. And bicarbonate, you understand, is a base. Bicarbonate can neutralize the proton. So if you have bicarbonate and a proton, you have a base, you have the proton, which is acid, and they neutralize each other. So there's no effect on your acid-base balance. There's no effect on your urine pH if you take citric acid. Same thing's true for if you, take, if you drank a bottle of vinegar. Vinegar is acid, it's right, it's acetic acid. No effect on your acid-base balance, no effect on urine pH, because the acetate in the acetic acid gets turned into a base. But some of the citrate in the lemon juice is not with a proton, it's potassium citrate. It's the same that you get from a, from a Eurocit K or polycitric K. So now you take that citrate, it gets turned into bicarbonate, it's got potassium with it, not the proton, the H+, and so you have a base and no acid. So the net effect is alkalinization. Your urine pH goes up. And that's despite starting with something that was very acid. Because you took the acid in a form that contained the base. It contained the antidote for the acid. So you could drink a bottle of vinegar. It will have no effect on your urine pH. If you take in lemon juice, because there's some citrate in the form of potassium citrate, you will alkalinize your urine. That's the desired effect.